So I posted a video last week about Resident Evil 5. If you haven't watched it, here. I've made it easy for you. Basically, while I was uploading, I searched Resident Evil 5 and it came up with all these results from like top YouTubers like Osman Gold and some ordinary gamers. And I was like, why is this trending right now? Like maybe my video will get picked up by the algorithm. Come to find IGN don't open their mouths again. IGN really out here trying to ruin things for everyone. So they came out with this video slash article several days ago and it's called The Resident Evil Game That Can't Be Remade. And people are literally dragging them by their glued lace fronts y'all. So let me read some parts then I'll respond. Resident Evil 5 is actually the Resident Evil most in need of a remake. The whole new environmental structure and scenario design that reigns in the action and dials up the horror would bring it in line with Capcom's other remake but this doesn't account for Resident Evil 5's most notorious problem racism. This insensitive treatment of people of colour was hotly debated even as early as Resident Evil 5's debut trailer with the writers such as Nagai Nagai Kroll and Stefan Tortillo pointing out the game's uncomfortable post-colonial imagery. In the 2020s, in a post-Black Lives Matter world, there is only one acceptable response to a white man shooting waves of Africans for an entire video game. Sorry, I, I actually can't, I can't. My answer to this is, it's a game. Who cares if the enemy's black, white, yellow, green or purple? I swear in the game Homefront like a white dude like it's North Koreans. Kane and Lynch catch a plane to Hong Kong, just some Chinese. It doesn't matter, it's a game. They acting like there's no other enemies. There's Wesker, that one white zombie in the beginning, Excella, Jill, Irvin and a bunch of grey zombies at the end. The funny thing is, despite all this, IGN actually gave the game a 9.3 or something. Mission failed successfully, I guess? <laughs> IGN really trying to end up like Machinima. Apparently they turned off comments on Twitter. You know how rowdy it gets over there. Like, it's, it's the wild west. Also, there's one more thing that I noticed that they said. If you take Africa out of Resident Evil 5, is it Resident Evil 5 anymore? Even with a vastly improved, more sensitive take on the continent, perhaps one with a black protagonist. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? Capcom, if you're watching and you made it all to the end, please don't listen to these fools. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who, who, I want to see who wrote this. Matt, please take several seats out of the building and onto the bus. This guy's probably like, <laughs> but I have black friends. Anyways, Capcom, if the next game in the pipeline is Resident Evil 5, I'm sure all people want is more survival horror. All the other stuff can be tweaked or stay the same, like Resident Evil 4 Remake. I have no idea why this guy is speaking for anyone. Here's someone the comments that I found on like the videos I was talking about at the beginning. But please tell me your thoughts on this. I really would like to hear. I'm going to cut the video off here because I don't want to lose any more brain cells. So I'll just see you in the next one.